Hey, I'm Josh, I'm from Support Department. So the question that I get asked all the time about my, my website is how am I able to create this animated CTA button? What plugin am I using? What sort of voodoo magic is going on here? It's actually really simple to do. It is just a button inside a group and that's about it really. So I use it up here in the hero. I use it a little bit further down in my pricing table. And then I also use it down the bottom here in what I like to call my save CTA. So I've also got a little hover over uh, transition here where the whole button turns into white. So yeah, let me jump into the bubble editor and show you how I do it. So I've got a group set up and then my button within the group as I've explained. So with the group, I have it set to container layout. So this is the new responsive editor from bubble. The container layout is aligned to parent. I've set a fixed width and a fixed height. I have no margins or, or padding set on this. Coming over to the appearance here, you can see that the background style is set to image and I have my GIF. And I have a condition that when the group is hovered or pressed, then the background style changes to a flat color, which is white. Then when we come into our button, we can see that I've got the alignment with the parent container as the middle. And then I've set a margin of four pixels all the way around. So that four pixels enables us to see that animation coming through from the group. We come across into our styles. I've set up a style for this button and I just have a condition that again changes the background color to white and sets the font color to black when it gets hovered or pressed. And that's it. That is all you need to do to be able to create this awesome looking CTA button. You'll just need to find an image that suits you, whether that's a scrolling color like this, whether that's just a one neon color, you know, the sky's the limit. All right, have a good day.